Okay, let's talk about Alex Pre-Algebra. And the Alex system is a very popular system. Many, many schools and colleges use uh, the Alex system for their respective math courses. So if you happen to be taking Alex Pre-Algebra, which I assume you are uh, by virtue of you watching this video, well, what I have here for you is a practice prom that you should be able to handle without too much difficulty if you are really kind of um, doing pretty well in pre-algebra. So here is the problem. Again, uh, you can kind of see it, but I'll just read it to you. We have 3 fourths m minus 1 is equal to 1.75. And I'd like to see if you can solve this without the aid of a calculator. Now, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And over those years, I've constructed many, many courses to include an Alex pre-algebra course. Now, uh, this course is designed to kind of supplement your actual course that you're taking. But in my course, you're going to find massive amounts of really detailed instruction. It's going to really, really help you out in your current Alex pre-algebra course. So you can find a link to that in the description of this video. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this prom here. Now, if you're looking at this, you're like, well, I just want to use my calculator. I'm going to try to discourage you to use a calculator here, okay? What I'm really looking for is your ability to work with fractions and decimals, okay? Again, this is really, really important at this level of mathematics. But uh, let's go ahead and see what the solution is. We have 3 fourths m minus 1 is equal to 1.75. What is m equal to? Well, m is equal to 11 thirds. So that is the answer. Now, if you got that right, that is outstanding. Now, if you didn't get this right, okay, uh, don't get discouraged. Just use this as feedback, right? You probably need uh, to do a pretty good uh, a review with fractions and decimals, which is pretty common for uh, students at the pre-algebra level. But uh, let's go and get into this problem right now. So what do we need to do? Well, again, there's a couple different approaches you could take. We have a fraction here and we have a decimal here. So we have to make a decision. Do we want to work in all fractions or all uh, decimals? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and work uh, with all uh, fractions. Okay, so I'm looking at here, this uh, uh, term. I got 3 fourths m minus 1. No problem there, but I have 1.75. So I'm going to write this decimal 0.75 as the fraction 3 fourths. So there's some basic decimal fraction equivalents that you should know. Things like 0.5, that's one half, right? Or 0.25 is equal to one fourth. Um, 0.75 is three fourths, right? So uh, again, we're not talking about anything like 0.398, something like that. What is the respective fractions for uh, for this or fraction for this particular decimal? That gets a little, uh, to be a little bit more involved. But here, 0.75, hopefully you know, it has uh, uh, an equivalent fraction of three fourths, right? So again, real basic decimals that you should know. All right, so now we have one plus three fourths. Again, this is the same thing as one uh, plus 0.75 or 1.75. So one plus three fourths. Uh, we can just simply add those together into this mixed number, one and three fourths. Okay, so now this is the problem at this stage. So what do we want to do? Well, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the details right now. So anytime you're solving a basic linear equation in algebra, what you want to do is get all your variables on the left and all your numbers on the right. So here I have uh, 3 fourths m, so that's a variable term. It's on the left-hand side of the equation, no problem there. I have this number on the right, so that's good. But here I have this negative 1. It's on the left-hand side. So really what I want to do is get this thing moved over to this side of the equation. So how do I do that? Well, what you need to do is get rid of this negative 1 on this side. So if I have a negative 1 here, how can I get rid of it? Well, we can just add a 1 to it, right? So negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Basically, it goes away. But remember, in algebra, whatever you do to one side of an equation, you must do the exact same thing on the other side. So here I'm going to add 1 to both sides of the equation, draw a line just like this, and then you're going to add down in a column manner. So here we have 3 fourths m plus nothing is 3 fourths m. 
negative one plus one is zero, that goes away. And then one and three fourths plus one gives us two and three fourths. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the next step. So here I have a mixed number fraction. So instead of working with this mixed number fraction, what you want to do is write that as what we call an M, uh, improper fraction. So when it comes to fractions, things like this, let me kind of give you some uh, quick examples. So when, uh, when the denominator, okay, this bottom number is bigger than the numerator here, we were, uh, uh, we're going to refer to this as a proper fraction, okay? When the numerator is larger than the denominator, like this one right here, 3 over 2, this is an improper fraction. And we can always write improper fraction as uh, a mixed number. Okay, so this right here, 2 and 3 fourths, is a mixed number fraction. So what we want to do is write this mixed number fraction as an improper fraction. So that we're going to do this um, uh, procedure that all of you know, which is this 4 times 2 is what? That's 8 plus three is 11 over four, right? So again, anything here that's bothering you with the fractions, uh, you need to, um, you know, kind of, you know, brush up on fractions. Fractions are so critical in pre-algebra and algebra, and I have a full chapter on fractions in my Alex pre-algebra course. Okay, so here we have three-fourths M is equal to 11 fourths now. So what do we do? Well, I want to solve for M, so the easiest way to solve this problem is to notice I have three-fourths. What I want is really 1m or m. m by itself is just 1m. So how can I get a 1, okay, uh, from a three-fourths? Well, easy, all right? If I multiply, if I flip this fraction upside down and multiply by this fraction, I'm going to get a 1 because take a look at what's going to happen here, right? So 4 times 3 is 12, and 3 times 4 is 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1. So what you want to do, anytime you have a fraction coefficient in front of a variable, just flip it upside down and multiply it by that side of the equation, by the left-hand side. But remember the rule, again, in, in algebra, is whatever you do to one side of an equation, you must do the exact same thing on the other side. All right? So we need to multiply both sides of the equation by 4 thirds, or the reciprocal of this fraction. All right, so when we uh, multiply 4 thirds uh, by 3 fourths m, we get 1m or m. And here we're going to get 11 uh, times 4, which of course is 44 uh, over 4 times 3, which is 12. But if we're, you know, really kind of smart about this, we're like, oh, we have these two common factors. I can cross cancel them. So I'm just left with uh, 11 over 3, right? Of course, this will reduce down to 11 thirds. Okay, so uh, hopefully... This little video kind of helped you out, but you're going to have to be a real expert at fractions and linear equations to be successful in pre-algebra. No doubt that you could be successful, but what you're going to have to do is get the uh, amount of instruction that you need for, you know, uh, yourself, right? So some people, you know, they can, uh, you know, watch a quick video and maybe look at a quick lesson and do okay. But I'm telling you right now, as someone who's been teaching math for decades, what you need is a lot of instruction, a lot of explained practice problems, okay? So again, check out my Alex pre-algebra course. You can find a link to that in the description uh, below. And uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your Alex pre-algebra course. Thank you for your time and have a great day.